Nelson Piquet once said that driving the circuit to Monaco was like riding a bicycle around your living room. And it's not hard to see what he means by that. There's no more prestigious a Grand Prix victory than Monaco, but also none so challenging. We're on the French Riviera once more this weekend at the two mile long circuit to Monaco. The cars climb around 40 meters up through Beau Rivage onto the casino and then descending down towards the harbor through sector two. It's a very short run from pole position to the first of the 19 corners here, seven to the left and 11 to the right. There's one single DRS zone as well, so don't expect that to make overtaking any easier today. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today and how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, the surface looks clean enough, but I'm a little bit worried about the track temperature. It's pretty cool out there, which could give some teams difficulties when it comes to keeping their tyres in the right operating window. The cars out there that work their tyres hard and really put a lot of energy through them, they'll be the ones that are better off. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, and Albon, Perez, Ricardo, Stroll, and Esteban Ocon, Sainz, Gardner, Kevin Magnussen, and Norris, Raikkonen, Russell, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Giuliano Alesi. Gasly, Grosjean, Latifi, and Daniel Kvyat completes the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Hello, and welcome to another JDM Racing F1 2020 My Team Season 1 video. Um, we are at Monaco. Uh, I put it on 12th on the grid, uh, which, much to my surprise, um, because practice really didn't go that well. Um, so we, yeah, we outperformed uh, the expectations of what we felt like we were going to be at in terms of qualifying. I think Giuliano's pace was more, down in 18th was more where we were expected to be. Uh, so I feel like I'm a little bit out of position and uh, I'm going to get swamped. I'm a little bit nervous, um, but we're just going to be our best, live our best lives and be our best person and do the best we can and see what, what happens. Um, in terms of strategy, I think we're just going to stick with the default. Um, for 25% races, there's not really much uh, you can do. There's 20 laps. Fuel, you know, it's not going to be a, a massive issue. I think we can probably just overfill it a little bit like that and leave it as is, as the, what if the team has set as the default. We're not going to be playing around with fuel. Uh, we haven't got a good enough fuel system for that. So let's just get into it. Oh, and uh, also I've put myself a um, special Monaco lid, special Monaco helmet for this race, just because that's what most drivers do. They have a, a blingy diamond encrusted helmet or gold or whatever. Uh, Hamilton did a, a Nicky Lauda helmet last year. Um, I think Kimi Raikkonen did a James Hunt helmet the one year. So yeah, it, it, Monaco is normally a place where you change your helmet to sign up. So I thought I'd do that myself. Uh, so off we go.
front wing. It'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. Yeesh. Oh my god. I'm okay, getting really bullshy. Absolutely trash my ERS though. All of it to get track position. Still to recharge now. will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. We're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. Yeah, I know, we're feeling good. Even though we've got a little bit of wing damage. Kiss of the wall there. You have to forgive my uh, lack of talking, but it's a little Monaco is brutal. Maybe I'll put in some uh, chat in post. I'm just sat here playing the game and I'm out of breath. I'm like holding my breath.
starting to fall off the back of Danny Rick now. We're gonna box this lap, push hard on the in lap. Some of the guys pitting already. Front is 8.0 seconds. I kind of feel like we might get jumped by the racing point in the pit stops. If he gets us on the over Ugh, undercut. Uber Cup. Yeah, he's soft about it. He's spinning the wheels like that, coming out of that corner. Jeff retires a dead. some yellows on don't oh my god oh you've re refit the wing okay okay go on. Go I should have changed that we were coping fine without but all right look after these tires now we want to finish the race on this compound all right so we've been jumped by Sainz and Perez so At least we got a fresh wing in tet possibly 10th net. We were in 8th, those two have gone past us. And then hopefully we can, uh, now we've got a 100% car again, we can try and get on the back of them. Or they might just pull away like Ricardo did. Now that we're not holding them up. Oh, that was so close. I felt like I was going to absolutely tank it there. Giuliano is coming in for his stop. outside of DRS, damn it. Yeah, tenth like I thought. That front wing change. It's cost us but also helped us because now I feel like I can push again. Whereas before I was hanging on a bit. Finding the spot to do it. You're in the top ten now. Keep it up. Most obvious statement of the year award goes to Jeff. I'm so harsh to Jeff. <laughs> Getting DRS. The car behind is boxed for the mediums. Car behind on the medium tire. The guy in front's got DRS. Which is annoying. For whatever reason, we, we are faster through this second sector.
I started to catch the car in front, but we need to look after the tires. We won't be making another pit stop. That was a bit ambitious. Error frustration in that one. Just hope it didn't trash the tires. That's all. Left front's a bit hot. Wear rates are okay then. Oh, <laughs> that was that was close. I'm hitting the limit now. Wow. I did not expect the back end to step out like that. That was a heart in mouth moment. curve by taking that corner. That's twice now the back end is it didn't go as badly that time but you did see it slide a bit. I think he's gone now Perez. maintain this about Monaco it's always a struggle uh, at the start of a weekend and then you get into the race and you start finding your rhythm and it's not too bad but if you lose your focus It's, yeah, I mean, like the, the famous Senna crashing it at the end of the tunnel. Okay, gap ahead is 4.6 seconds. Okay, Max, not really encroaching. The is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. Yeah. So we don't have enough pace to keep up with the big Mercedes, but we're doing okay keeping the Haas behind, so. Just solidify this position and get the point. Bottas got the win. He needed that. So Lewis was starting to dominate.
One point at Monaco. Yes, boys. Happy with that. Real happy with that. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. That's it then for another nail-biting Monaco Grand Prix. We were on the edge of our seats the whole time, but they've come through to take a stunning victory. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. That point felt like a win today. So let's review the updated driver's standings. That lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Carlos Sainz certainly wasn't someone to scoff about. His ability to follow race strategies throughout with pinpoint precision has to be commended. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon. Well, not really much. I mean, Bottas winning that race has put him in front of Vettel in the terms of the overall standings. We've just jumped ahead of Norris. I'm not sure. We're tied on points, but I'm not sure if it's the best result or alphabetical order. <laughs> Being as Daniel Ricciardo is in front of Carlos Sainz as well on the same points. Um, certainly seems that way and then the guys down the bottom are the only guys without points uh, so you've got both alphas uh, Grosjean got a point uh, Kvyat hasn't scored yet and both Williams so, and Alessi so kind of yeah Williams and Alpha need to get their acts together really um, but we're doing okay I think our when we spoke at the beginning of the season we said our target was to try and beat Haas so we're doing an excellent job in terms of that in terms of this race Looks like the Mercedes, look at them, 12 seconds in front of everybody else out front. Bottas obviously just had Lewis's number on this particular day. Uh, Red Bulls and Ferraris, best of the rest. And then there's a distinct performance gap. You can see from 17 seconds, Max behind the leader to 33 seconds with, with Daniel. Um, and then we're kind of sandwiched in between but yeah we're, we're mixing up with like McLaren's racing points so I can't really be too disgruntled about that I think we did a really good job today let's have a look at the highlights maybe I think it was just pole position was the difference for Valtteri today? Look at <laughs> look at me just dancing around, trying to stay out of trouble. Ooh! Wow! Um, look at me going for it on the first lap. Super risky though. Jeez. <laughs> I'm looking at some of these moves, I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? Super aggressive on that first lap. 
Well, that livery does look nice, especially in Monaco. That, yeah, that helmet design I think was nice too. Um, I will be switching it back though for the next race. Yeah, this was the part of the race where we just got caught behind these two guys. I felt like we were really going to push on uh, and have a go at getting past them. But I think I tried that one dive bomb and after that, it, that, was, that was it. This was it. Just, I really had to try hard to keep it out of the wall there, but that, that pretty much did it. So my impatience uh, didn't pay me back that time, but it just goes to show. I could have been sat in 10th, happy with the point, but I, I was greedy. I just felt like the car had more in it, which is good, considering where we are as a team. So. race from our perspective let's have yours it's safe to say you're smashing everyone's expectations isn't it it's a team sport claire we all put in a stream amount of effort all the guys back at the factory yada 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 yada, yada. Than formula one today wasn't it uh they were just friendly nudges appreciate your time here come the money here come the money. Here we go. Extra points in the comments section if you get that reference. And you can tell me what that reference is. Kudos to whoever gets that. Smashing up Giovinazzi in the rivalry breakdown. No problem. Um. I'm on Giuliano's acclaim level now. That's interesting. Uh, we did all practice programs. At least attempted them because I didn't pass them. So maybe, yeah. So that's interesting. So I've just got to attempt them. 4.43 million. In, um, in the coffers to spend. Um, yeah, we can do some um, driver stuff. We could do a sponsor event for some team acclaim. And then we'll do... Let's do chassis. Yeah. I recommend we could go for something like this. He reckons aero. I reckon powertrain. Being as Azerbaijan's coming up. And that is a massive power circuit, so we need engine power for that. That's one of the biggest upgrades as well, and I hope, I hope it does not fail. Oh my god. If it were me, this is probably what I'd invest in. Ice. Alright. It's interesting because they didn't used to show you the um, durability um, statistics compared to the other teams. So that's another change for this season, or this year's game. Okay, that's all of our points spent. Um, go through to corporate. We got no more sponsors, although we did have XXY. Can't remember if I 
shown that before or not. Ah, let's change this back now. To, what did we, this one. Yeah, that's what we had before. Okay. That's it. We changed the gearbox before that Grand Prix as well, which uh, was a massive help. Um, so yeah, that'll do it for this time. Um, massively happy with that result. Uh, team's doing a great job. Um, if there's anything that you guys uh, want to see or um, have changed, like maybe something to do with delivery or car development or even the driver market, then uh, let me know. We can take a quick look at the driver market. Now, I haven't really looked at this too much because I uh, just haven't had the, the time, really. Um, but we will be looking... Um, I'm guessing we can attract, because we've got seven acclaim at the top, Oh, top right there, that globe icon. That's our claim. So we could, if we had the money, <clears throat> be looking at either keeping hold of Giuliano and improving his stats, or maybe going for a different driver. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think about what we should do for the um, second driver. Do we feel like Alacy's doing a good enough job or do we want to try and get somebody else? So yeah, let me know what you think about that. I haven't got any problems with Alacy so far, I think he's been a, doing a good job, but yeah, let me know what you think. And then we'll be off to Azerbaijan for the next one. So thanks for watching this. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys. Bye.